Great, thank you. My name is Michael T. Stack and I'm with TV Fanatic. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so first, Gina, how was it returning to a character that you haven't played in eight or nine years? <laughs> Yeah, it's not something I've ever experienced before. Um, it was definitely a new experience, but I think um, it, it was it was it was thrilling. Like it, it was like hearing it was like you know when you go into the attic and you find a sort of letter that you wrote home from camp. Like you're like, oh yeah, that was me, and you can kind of get those feelings of being you know when you look through old letters, you can conjure those feelings straight away. And I felt that when I'm when I got on set to play Sophie. I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know, anticipation is kind of harder than reality as we know most of the time. Um, and I didn't know if her voice or just things like um, learning lines, I was a bit worried because, you know, we work at such a speed and there's, you know, it's just so much dialogue and, and the pace of it and learning the accents. I was like, is my mouth still gonna be able to get around all those accents and stuff? But as soon as we, you know, we hit the ground running, as soon as I turned up on set, I just like felt it all come back. And, um, and, and it was so much fun hearing everybody else's voices and see uh, picking up on everybody else's rhythms and seeing it written down. And it, 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 was, it was really thrilling. And Noah, how did it feel um, kind of stepping into a pre, like already like all the characters were established. How did it feel being the newbie? <laughs> uh, it felt great. Uh, you know, I just wanted to be kind of like a Swiss army knife. I wanted to be able to be utilized in any way they needed me to be utilized and be a completely functional uh, energy down there on that set and in the show as a character. And uh, I love the character that they wrote for me. And uh, I like, uh, the cast couldn't have been more welcoming and uh, I, I really love being part of it. Wonderful. And um, this is one for both of you. So how do you think that like your previous roles, like for you, Noah, like Falling Skies or Librarians or like Emerald City for you, Gina, like how do you think they've influenced your characters now? Well, I, I, I think my sort of, my, sorry, there's just a plane going right over my house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a helicopter. Maybe Noah, you should take this one then. Uh, I don't know that the previous roles have informed the character of Harry Wilson so much as just, you know, it's the 10,000 hours thing. The more times you, you get on set and the more roles you play and the more environments you work in and the more different weather extremes you've been, you know, you just sort of check off these things like, okay, now I've worked this way, now I've worked that way. And I, what I loved about this ensemble is I've worked in ensembles that are competitive with each other. And this one is, but in a very healthy way, you know, it, when you're at the end of the scene and everybody's looking for a funny button to kind of nail the scene, you're with five people who all have 10 great ideas and each one is going to bring their best ideas. That's very healthy. That's very positive. And I love being in the company of really creative people who are competitive, but not, there's no mean streak. It's not to for self-aggrandizement. It's for the betterment of the project, the service of the scene, and to make the show more entertaining, which I can get behind all day long. And that's exactly what everybody in this cast brought. I think um, for me to answer your question is um, when I, I worked, um, when I first started out, I did a lot of very heavy drama. And then it wasn't until I did coupling really that I realized that I had comedy chops. And uh, what I really, really love in any part, my kind of, is the idea that I can play both and balance it, like play an emotional truth, but also be able to be a complete goofball. And um, I don't think that, um, you know, a lot of people, I, I'm not such a goofball in my, in my real life. I can be quite intense, but I really love playing goofy. I get a lot of joy from it. And I think what you said is like a perfect like explanation for part of leverage because it is like the very serious, but then there's also the the goofiness and the, the comedy. And I think that the old series and the new series do that so well. And I'm so happy that it's back. And because I was a big fan of the show and just how do you think fans are going to feel when they watch that first episode? You know, I think that a lot of fans are going to be completely thrilled and they're going to feel like I did on the first time on the first um, day on the set and they're just going to get hit the ground running. And then there will be some people that will have like, oh, but I thought it would be more like this or I thought it would be more like this or they haven't 
gone in that direction. And, um, but then I, hopefully they'll stay with it and hopefully um, they'll, they'll, they'll see that, I think that the, the new iteration has a, 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 a real heart to it and it, it really resonates with what's going on in the world right now as opposed to what was going on in the world in the past. And, um, and I think more important, well, not more importantly, obviously our, our existing fans are the most important to us, but I, I'm really excited about new fans joining the show that don't have the baggage of having watched it in the past. And I do think that they can hit the first episode and get kind of caught up in these characters and these relationships, and then hopefully go back and, and, and watch the, the uh, original series. That sounds great. Um, I know I'm really excited for the whole show. And I had, since the cancellation of the first iteration, I had a Google alert of Leverage returning. And oh. I was very excited when it finally <laughs> came upon something. And I know a lot of other people are also very excited. And um, it's been a bit like Game of Thrones for me that you can just feel the footprints of this army behind you, like every so often going on your on your social media and be like, oh, here comes the army from the north, like bring back <laughs> leverage. And, you know, they got there in the end. Yeah, no, I think I'm... this is going re re to reverberate with a lot of people. I think a whole new audience is going to come on board and all the old leverage fans are going to feel like the coolest fans because they were part of it from the very beginning like well you don't really know you just join the table late and it'll be a wonderful conversation between people who are coming into it with a clear perspective and people who can inform those new viewers with all sorts of interesting details and backstory definitely i definitely agree with that and i know i'm excited to introduce new friends to it and watch it with old friends as well that have seen it and then just one final thing, um, just how excited were you on the first day when you came back and when you joined and when you came back, you know, like how just excited were you? How great did it feel? You know, um, we've talked a bit um, today about how odd it was, um, obviously um, filming in the pandemic. So there was a lot of nerves about like personal safety and stuff. But I, I remember on the first day, I'm not a speech maker at all, although I say that, but actually I have made quite a few speeches recently. <laughs> I never used, but I did make a little speech on the first day because I just felt that um, people were taking their help, that they were taking the big risk coming out so early back to work and being in crowds. I mean, even though our protocols were amazing and our boss, everybody handled it so brilliantly and people were so committed to all the protocols. But um, it really meant a lot to us, and, and Noah's um, talked a lot about this, but it, it, it was very emotional for lots of reasons, not just because we were coming back together, not just because we were setting off on a massive adventure, but also that people had really um, put their trust in us. And it was really, really hot and humid. That's what I had to do. It was New Orleans in July. <clears throat> just threw that out there. Yeah, that's hot, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna wrap here. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I really appreciate yeah. your time. You. Really appreciated your time and it was great to see everyone. Hope you enjoyed the second half of the season. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.